Hey everyone! The system I will show you today is based on Whisper from OpenAI. It's a great start if you want to build a pipeline of processing based on voice recognition. Or maybe you just want a transcription service of your own. I've been using it to help me produce subtitles for my short-form content. Everything is done locally and can be self-hosted even on a legacy hardware. I am not sure about Raspberry Pis yet. But still, it's a great thing to have. The system will be split into two parts, the main AI service and the website frontend. Now, you'll need Linux machine or Windows with WSL2. I'll be basing my example here on Debian slash Ubuntu, but you should be able to do everything no problem on your favorite flavor of Linux. Preferably a GPU, but not really. Whisper comes in multiple models of varying sizes, so you can run it on CPU or even legacy GPUs. I've tested it on my NVIDIA 1060 with 6GB of VRAM, which I bought almost a decade ago. And it works! The code is available in my GitHub repository. Everything will be linked in the video description. Also, I need to give the credit where credit is due, the following AI service is based on a code from a Medium article by, and excuse my pronunciation, Bokyang Liang. OpenAI provides a Python module named Whisper, which pretty much does everything, including the model download. You don't even need the web service. You can use it straight from the CLI, but for one, that would be too easy. And two, creating web service enables you to build a pipeline and add some really nice features like SRT subtitle generation on the fly. So, let's begin. Step one. Clone my GitHub repository and next to it create a Python virtual environment. Any Python 3 version between 0.8 and 0.11 should do. Ensure you have Python 3 slash VN or corresponding packet installed. You will also need FFmpeg. In my case you can install them both easily using apt. Activate the virtual environment. Now you can install required Python dependencies, so execute the following command. Finally, launch the app script and close this video. I wouldn't blame you for doing that. It's less than 60 lines of code, so let's do a quick overview at least. First, we're defining a config class. In it, we are choosing the model the application will be using, as well as the basic settings such as IP address and port. List of available models and more info about the characteristics of them is available on the Whisper's GitHub page. But if you want a TLDR, large is the biggest and most accurate model with all the features. It can transcribe from multitude of languages and can even translate from non-English to English on the fly. It requires 10 gig of VRAM, but if you have a decent GPU, you can safely use it. Actually, as long as it fits, you can run it on any hardware you want. It will simply take more time and energy to run through long audio clips. By long, I mean at least few minutes. From my experience, any model smaller than large is blazing fast. But I like to have everything as accurate as possible, specifically since my videos tend to use some tech-specific slang or acronyms. Next is our main service class. Aside from boilerplate code, we are defining route and availability via HTTP POST. The load module function will load the chosen AI model to the GPU memory, or CPU if you are not using GPU, but it will also automatically download it if you don't have it yet on your computer, which is a super neat feature and basically streamlines the whole process significantly. Finally, the transcribe function. First, it calls the previous load model, and after that succeeds, it proceeds to retrieve the file from post request. Then, it saves it as a temporary file locally and passes it to the model. All that's left is to return the JSON formatted output as an HTTP response. The Whisper method also handles all of the required pre processing behind the scenes of this code. And that's pretty much it! It's amazing how simple this has become. Let's give it a try. So let's assume you are opening a new terminal window. First, activate the virtual environment and launch the script. In another terminal window, use the curl command and send an audio file to the service. It 
Since this is our first run, we can see Whisper downloading the model from the internet. As you can see, the results are amazing. The performance obviously can vary depending on your hardware, and with longer clips it may take longer time, but if you are just doing short audio clips, maybe for shorts, for YouTube or TikTok or whatever, uh, this will run great pretty much no matter what hardware you'll be using. You know, I really like this pin. Uh, it's from another YouTube channel, but I feel like it's been rotating on and off throughout the entire recording, so for now I'll take it off. Anyway, let's add some web interface. I'll create a separate project for that and everything, once again, will be available in a GitHub repository linked in the video description. The frontend will have basic asynchronous features, but bear in mind that I am no programmer, so if you want to rewrite it, change something or throw out a library in favor of another one you know, be my guest and share your work possibly. So, let's start by pulling the code from the GitHub again. Then, create another Python virtual environment. It will be dedicated to the frontend. Activate it and install those dependencies. Also, install Ready Server in your system. It will serve as a message broker for Celery. It will make sense soon. The project has two main files. One is application logic, and the second one is a page template. Both were generated by DeepSeek, and if you want to hear me talk more about DeepSeek, you should check out my previous video where I run a self-hosted local deployment. Let me show you the more interesting bits of the application. A lot of it is just a boilerplate code, so you can probably read it no problem on your own. So first, check out your app.config variables and adjust them according to your needs. Secret key is used mainly for cookie protection and you can just input any random long string of characters. REST endpoint is where the Whisper AI is running. If it's on localhost, as in my case, you can leave it as it is. Next, process audio is an asynchronous method handled by Celery. This might be a good place to mention that Celery is an asynchronous task queue framework with a veggie name. The process audio method will take care of the communication with Whisper. It will also generate SRT subtitles and save output to the results folder. Next are the functions that handle post and get requests. The comments are pretty self-explanatory. Now to get everything running. Let's assume everything is closed and this is the first time you are running everything. Open a terminal window and start Whisper, as I described it before. So first activate the virtual environment and then activate the application. In another terminal window, activate the front end's virtual environment and start up Celery by using this command. In yet another, and this time this is the last, terminal window, activate the front end's virtual environment again and run the application. It should listen on all interfaces on port 5000. Open it in your browser and give it a go. My advice, try a short audio clip first. The GitHub repositories will remain frozen just to be consistent with what I'm showing in this video. So don't worry, it's, this won't be changed in the future. This won't like detach from the video itself. If I find anything or make any changes, I'll make another separate repositories. That will probably be accompanied by another video on this channel. So for now, like, subscribe and hopefully be here for my next material. Bye.